Hey guys, Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com, Gary Dean Detailing. I'm in Valrico, Florida today, and I'm about to start work on this uh, 2009 Chevy HHR SS. And I have polished this vehicle before. I didn't do as extensive of defect removal as I'm going to do today. So we're going to have some fun with a rotary polisher today and a couple of different DA's dual action polishers that I have. So just to mess around a little bit. Um, this particular customer I have had for a long time. He's an amazing dude. Uh, he's, is, I don't know, very hospitable. Um, wants to make sure that he gets everything right. And if I need anything, he wants to handle that amazing situation. Uh, he went and had the vehicle cleaned up a little bit because he said it was disgusting. However, I've still got to wash and decontaminate it anyway before I can do anything. Um, but it has tire snot all over it. So here it is, <clears throat> 2009 HHR SS. It's tire snot everywhere, sling all over the side. Bumper's been repainted. He's got some areas I've got to touch up, like this area here. I'm going to cut that back a little bit and then just touch it up. Um, it's got some scratches on the roof and stuff, but... I'll bring you back around and see that. I uh, took the plate off and then he had run his rear view camera through here and because it's a metal bracket and I didn't want it to damage the paint at all, I put some masking tape all over it so it could just hang there and be doing the thing. So I'm using the currently unreleased, today's December 1st, 2016. On March 1st, 2017, I will release Ghost and the force field protection system, which will include, include Ghost, Stripper Juice, Infinite Force Field, and Force Field Boost. Um, I already have my bucket straightened out. Got a gallon of water. Got some. Uh, got an ounce of Ghost in there. Gonna go ahead and get this thing clean. Get all the tire snot off there, and then start polishing. Um, you can see that it's pretty swirled up. Shouldn't be. A huge deal he's pretty particular about how he maintains his vehicles but this is his daily driver so that is where the importance is in you know picking a package and processes that benefit the customer and because we did a swirl mark removal process before and it had a little bit more defects than I had gotten you know into uh, he called me recently to set this up to go a little bit more in depth but again perfection is not reality and i'm going to compound and polish and then put on infinite force field and we're going to be good to go so without further ado i'm going to go ahead and get it all prepped get that touch up done and then i'll bring you back after that before i start any polishing all right so i literally have done this pillar here, this small section here, and right up to that antenna with the clay bar. And as you can see, it is dirty. So clearly, he's just doing the washing, which is fine. But I just wanted to show you how dirty the clay bar was after that small section. So back to work. All right, it's all washed and decontaminated. I also got all the tire snot off, clean the wheels and that kind of thing. I did all the touch up already. Um, you can see where the spots are, but it's all touched up. There's a lot of spots on this thing, but the biggest thing was that big spot. And it is not pretty when you get up close, but there was a spot there as well. And then one in the back. Um, it is not pretty, however, it is not black and it's not peeling anymore. That touch-up paint not only added the color so that up here it's not so obvious, but beyond that, uh, it is actually going to prevent it from peeling back anymore in those areas. There was a big spot there, right in there, and then there's a spot there. But I did a ton of touch-up on the vehicle, but I want to show you what I'm using. I use the factory um, GM paint, but these brushes I really like and I get them on amazon.com uh, my artscape 
but this is just uh, acrylic watercolor uh, brushes, but you can see how fine the tips are. That's what I like to use for touch up. You can also get similar brushes at Walmart, nothing fancy. There's a huge spot right there. Just put some paint in that. Um, it's got some scratches on it. This one here, I'm focusing on that a little bit, but let's see if we can see in the sun. Doesn't look horrible. Definitely has some swirl marks and stuff. But I'll get that all straightened out. So I'm gonna pull it in the garage now and go to town with some polishing. So I'm working on this HHR. I have done some polishing on it. I did some testing and I've been, I have polished this vehicle before. I'm sure I look funny with my headlamp on. Yeah, this is like a $7 headlamp from Walmart. That's all you need. You don't need those fancy lights that most detailers say you do. Uh, this works phenomenally uh, and it's inexpensive. And if I break it, I don't care. If I leave it somewhere, I don't care. It is what it is. Um, you may or may not be able to see the scratches all over this thing. Uh, but all I did is I used the blue Buff and Shine Eurotech pad with infinite cut sitting right there on the Harbor Freight DA on speed five. One section pass. That is three passes on this section of the hood. Um, before I get into that, these Eurotech pads are amazing and I feel and believe them to be better than the low pro pads for a couple reasons. I love the low pro pads, they work really well, but I have found uh, actually, I love the foam. The foams are great. But I found that this black foam, if it gets hit on a side, for example, if I were polishing this side area and I got too close or accidentally hit that black on the paint, it would leave a mark. Now, that mark will go away very easily. However, with the way that these are, there's none of that. So you can see the two side by side. There's, there's none of that to worry about. And even though this flares out a little bit, notice the uh, just the angle that it's on, this flares out even more. Uh, and like I said, it's the same foam. So the blue is the heavy cutting. The yellow is the finishing, the polishing one. And then they have what they call the finishing one, which is actually um, either a very, very light polishing pad or um, could be the applicator pad. So um, those three, there's actually one more, but the testing I've been doing is to use infinite cut with the blue on every paint, infinite finish with the yellow on every paint, and then applying infinite force field with the white. It works amazing. So um, that's what I'm doing. So this headlamp, this fancy headlamp that I'm wearing should show you all the de defects and scratches that are in the paint. I'm hoping you can see that. Okay, it's pretty hacked up. Then this section I did with infinite cut and the blue pad and it looks damn near flawless. So that combo is a beast. And to be perfectly honest with you, I'm not gonna bother with the rotary because I don't need to. In fact, the other cool part is that was infinite cut. And look at that gloss. If I didn't want to apply infinite finish, I, did, I wouldn't have to. But since I'm gonna apply infinite finish, instead of using the stripper juice uh, to prep for infinite force field uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just hit everything with infinite finish so I'm pretty stoked uh, they both have the same primer uh, in them uh, for infinite force field juice boost and vitality shield so anyway that's what's up the Euro Eurotech pads all three of these pads will be on detailjuice.com very soon um, I am discontinuing the low pro pads and these will be the same price. So again, I am not a micro or I'm not a, a pad 
dealer per se, but I sell them on the site. And uh, I do that because these are the ones that I use as a pro detailer to get the best results possible. So anyway, I was actually uh, thinking I'd be able to do some rotary polishing today to shoot some video for that, but I don't need to. So why would I? That Harbor Freight DA is a bad man. So check it out. In fact, you can probably get a 25% off coupon, especially this time of year. I know I just got one in the mail from Harbor Freight. Uh, so you can use that coupon on the DA. And the one that I have is the previous model. There's a newer one than that. So, but again, it's a workhorse, so I don't need to continue to buy them. I have dropped those things from on top of RVs and they still work. And I, I just, it's a beast. It's all you don't need a fancy polisher to get fancy results. That's my point. All right, boys and girls, uh, I am done compounding the whole front end of this HHR, and it looks amazing. You see, I showed you earlier the front of the hood. I had some bird bomb etchings up here and then over there, which are completely gone with infinite cut I had some nasty scratches you'll notice that the fenders look amazing uh, this bumper has been repainted and it's all orange peely um, I did polish it but it still looks like poo um, so the whole front end's done I wanted to just make a uh, quick note that the reason that I do the touch-up paint before I polish, especially when I know I'm going to polish, uh, is because the comp or what I should say before I'm going to compound or polish, the compound infinite cut is with the abrasive is going to go over the touch-up and it's going to smooth out any. It's not going to dramatically change the way it looks. It's just going to smooth it out a little bit, just like it does the clear coat. So it's going to make the transition from factory paint to touch-up paint back to factory paint look a lot better and smoother. Um, I have found that it works very well uh, as far as the difference when you compound and then you polish, uh, and that's because you're using more abrasive to smooth it out even more. But that's why I do that. And so I just went over everything with Infinite Cut and it did a fantastic job. The gloss is just ridiculous. Um, and again, that's my compound. That's how I roll. Um, there's something to be said for amazing products, that's for sure. And the cool part about Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish is that I can use it on every single paint and every single hardness out there and get amazing results by just varying the pad. Now, in some situations, like if I were to do a uh, Corvette, and I can tell you that this paint that I'm working on now is very similar to every Corvette I've ever worked on. This is rock hard. And um, Infinite Cut with the new Eurotech blue pad is doing an amazing job, uh, but a lot of Corvettes, I have to pop out the rotary once in a while to really get deep down and dirty on some really heavy scratches. Um, I am not a believer in those fancy high dollar uh, large throw DAs. I just don't feel like they're needed uh, to get amazing results, especially when the Harbor Freight DA and small throw DAs in general do a, a great job. Sometimes you need more than that, and that's where the rotary comes into play. And I think. What I want to do for you guys, I want to do some rotary polishing videos, and I will do that. I don't have to do it on this video uh, or on this vehicle, and I got to really just knock this one out, get paid, and go home today. So shooting additional videos just because I can isn't realistic today. But I wanna, I'm going to shoot a rotary polishing video because I think it's important for you guys to get to know that a little bit. Uh, I know it might be old school technology and you know the the secret to a rotary because of the extra forced rot well the forced rotation in general and the extra heat that it can create the key to rotary polishing is control not speed so once you've mastered the control of the machine you can pretty much do whatever with it um, 
So anyway, that's the reason why professionals have been using a rotary for a long time. In 99% of every job I have ever done, all I've need to, needed to use is uh, a small throw DA. Uh, like I said, I just don't believe in the need for the higher cost in um, a large throw DA. Just my personal preference. I can have that if I'd like. So anyway, I'm gonna continue cranking out this uh, HHR and quit yapping, but you saw the paint, it looks amazing, and I am going to keep on with the Infinite Cut and the blue pad. Uh, the other cool thing about this Eurotech pad is, even if I put it on speed six, when I'm done with Infinite Cut, if even if I do, because with Infinite Cut and this, this combination, generally you only need to do uh, three passes is what I consider a section pass. But when I'm trying to compound out a scratch, a deeper scratch, and I localize and I go over it 10, 20 times, this, the surface of these pads stays uh, room temperature. It's amazing. That's the other part of this situation that I like is that you're not generating as much heat with these pads as you will with most other pads on the market. And then Buff and Shine, you guys know that I've been using those for years and years and years, and it's got my vote. They, they are amazing. The adhesive they use is amazing. The pads last longer than any other company. I got, you know, I, I use Buff and Shine. That's it, period. And um, as far as compounds and polishes, I don't need all kinds of other stuff because Infinite Cut and Infinite Finish does everything I need it to, everything my customers need it to do as well. So that's what's important. All right, I'm finally done with the polishing. I cut it with Infinite Cut and the blue Eurotech foam pad. Then I uh, polished it with the yellow Eurotech tech foam pad uh, with Infinite Finish. So it's done as far as the paint correction goes um, I'm gonna pull it outside when I'm done but as far as the paint goes right now I'm about to apply the infinite force field which is good because the infinite finish I just applied has a primer for that so I don't have to wipe the whole thing down with the stripper juice product so that's the plan right now I'm gonna get right to it and then I'll pull it We'll pull it outside and uh, get some shots with some more sun involved. All right, this is a 2009 Chevy HHR SS. And so I cut it with Infinite Cut to remove the deeper scratches and to smooth out all the paint touch up that I did. You can see some of the touch up I showed you before, some of those touch up spots. Looks really good when you do the touch up before you compound and polish because the uh, compound and or polish will smooth it out a little bit. Uh, I use those little brushes I showed you, uh, so that's pretty important. Um, that is the big spot that I touched up. Again, it's a blob of paint, but can't tell that from here. It's not black anymore like the plastic. Um, it's got paint on it. So it's not only protected from and sealed up from peeling back anymore, but it's also uh, looking good because it's the same color as the vehicle. So uh, touched up areas like that. Got those wheels clean, got that tire snot off there. Um, I applied transform dressing to the tires. Um, I actually applied it straight out of the bottle and then wiped the tires with a black microfiber towel. Um, as I explained earlier, uh, we took the plate off. This is the rear view camera. I taped it up with the masking tape so that I could lay it here and it wouldn't tear up the uh, paint. So um, after the infinite cut with the blue Eurotech Buff and Shine pad on the Harbor Freight DA, I then, man, it looks awesome. A lot of swirl in sight. You can see all that metallic in the paint. It looks awesome. I then used Infinite Finish on the yellow Euro, Eurotech Buff and Shine pad um, to enhance the gloss a bit. And then Infinite Finish has a primer the same primer that is in the stripper juice from the force field protection system. 
So I didn't use stripper juice after that. I just went straight into the infinite force field application. So I applied it to all of the exterior, the wheels, the paint, the glass, all of that got infinite force field uh, applied with the white Eurotech buff and shine pad on speed four. I then used a microfiber towel to get in all the nooks and crannies uh, inside the door handles and that kind of thing with the infinite force field. And then I just used force field boost as basically a detail spray because it's that easy to use uh, to smooth out any high spots, which I generally don't get any high spots these days. I'm pretty good about applying infinite force field, you know, and that comes with time, you know, there's a little learning curve with every new product that you use, but once you start to realize how the product works and reacts um, in your environment, it becomes second nature and you don't have any issues with it. So um, the paint is definitely not perfect. However, it looks amazing. And that's where we're at. So anyway, if you got any questions for me, 813-846-4406. Check out detailjuice.com for my products. I feel them to be the best on the planet. Of course, I would say that they are mine. I did design them. Um, but at the same time, many, many other people believe the same thing. And if you want to be a part of something bigger than detailing check out gary dean's detail juice nation it's a group on facebook where we talk about only the products at detailjuice.com my processes and other things that i've got going on so uh when you get there once you're approved uh please read the pinned posts those are the rules for the group and if you are into that you can stay if not thanks for visiting but uh again thank you so much for watching if you or interested in having me detail something for you, give me a call at 813-846-4406 or send me an email at detailjuice at gmail.com. Thanks again, guys, for watching. Have a wonderful day.